Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. My name is Hannah and on my channel, I do anti-MLM content. I also have a clothing reselling business on the Poshmark app. So I have a lot of reselling and Poshmark tips and tricks videos as well. I have an MLM top fails for you today. There is a lot of good stuff that we're gonna be reacting to. But before that, I wanna say thank you so much for 10,000 subscribers. Come on, okay? I never thought that this would ever be a place that my channel would get to. I mean, yes, it's always been a goal in the back of my mind. It's such a beautiful, round, satisfying number. But seriously, I have met this milestone so much sooner than I ever anticipated, and I have you to thank for that. I am beyond excited, beyond thankful. I could not be more grateful for all the support that I've been seeing, especially towards the anti-MLM videos. I just started posting this kind of content a few months ago. I had a couple videos prior to that, but I hadn't done it consistently. And just like the support and the growth that my channel has seen is unreal. I can't believe it. And in response to that, I also wanted to give you an update that I'm going to be uploading a little bit more in November. My goal for November, just to see how it goes, test it out, is to upload four brand new videos every single week, Wednesday through Saturday. So you can expect that coming your way in November. And with that being said, I also want to urge you to keep sending me stuff for these MLM top fails videos. It makes a world of difference when I can just open up my Google Drive and I have a ton of stuff there to react to and I'm not spending my own time searching for these things and screen recording them. I still do that occasionally, but it's been so nice to not have to rely on doing that. You guys find the most insane stuff out there, some of the best clips that I've reacted to have not been found by me. So in order to keep the quality of this content up and to keep the quantity of videos coming at you for November, I would love, love, love if you could keep sending me things to react to. And with that, let's get into it. This first clip, I want to preface it with something. The first thing that I'm going to show you is the same girl that we saw in MLM Top Fails 19. If you watch this video, there's no possible way that you could forget this. This video has by far the most comments I have ever gotten on a video. Everyone had an opinion on this clip. Everyone was shocked. Everyone had something to say about it. So if you have not watched it, highly recommend. But I will say this clip is shorter. This clip is more tame. This clip shows us a different side of this person than we saw in the previous video, but there's still a lot of misinformation being shared. And so I think that that's important and that's why I wanna show it to you. Also, as I said in the last video, I will say it again here, I wish this person all the best. As we have seen, it really seems like this person is going through it right now, okay? Perhaps a pretty tough time, perhaps not in the best place. But the reason that I even create these videos is to show you the behaviors, show you the actions, show you the words, and debunk the misinformation that is being spread. It is not to shame the people in the clips. It is not to spread hate. It is not to spread negativity. It is not to pass judgments on them as people. It's simply to show you, look at what being in an MLM makes this person say and do, and here's why we should be looking at that through a critical lens. So yes, while the behavior and the language in that previous video was absolutely foul, I want to make it clear that I don't think that she's a foul person. In fact, I want nothing more than happiness and fulfillment for her in her life. And if being in Monate is what does that for her, more power to her. But from the outside, it seems like being in Monate is something that brings a lot of stress and unhappiness and anger into her life. And if that is the case, I hope that she can find her way out in the future and put her energy into something that's going to make her happy. So I'll get off my soapbox. I'm sorry for the super long intro to that. I just wanted to say that up front because my goal always has and always will be to focus on the behaviors and the words and the actions and not the people themselves. On here to let any of you know that has been thinking about signing up with me um, or curious to know a little bit more about the company. Um, I do want to let you guys know that we are having a sale, meaning you get $230 extra worth of free products if you sign up with me either today or tomorrow um so if you're one person that would like to take advantage of sales um definitely dm me and we can kind of talk a little bit more about it um but yeah super exciting i know i like products so i wish i would have signed up when the sale was going on but if you do have questions just let me know and i will love to help you all right, I'm going to pop up on here one more time. I want you guys to know. Okay, but first, before I start talking, can we look at my fucking hair? Because the shit was fried a few months back. And now look at this shit. 
damn products on point okay anyways i'm done but i want you guys to know that you can do this um network marketing business whether you have a full-time job kids family um if you want to do it part-time if you want to make some extra money on the side literally you do not have to commit 100 percent of your time to this job that is not how this works it is just to make some extra money on the side um or run with it you can do whatever you want it's your business it's your determination it's your focus and it's up to you however much money you want to make this sentiment of you decide how successful you are and you decide how much money you make has always rubbed me the wrong way because it's just untrue you don't just get to wake up one morning and say i'm gonna make 300 dollars today and then it just magically happens that's not how that works <laughs> it is up to you to decide how much work you want to put in that is true but ultimately your success is kind of at the mercy of how many people decide that they want to give in to your product pitch or how many people you can convince to sign up. There are no guaranteed results in an MLM and to an extent, you are relying on others usually strangers, to make you successful and to make you money. Yes, there are things you can do to increase your chances of somebody being convinced by your pitch, but in the end, you don't just get to decide how much money you make and decide how high in the ranks you're gonna climb. When you start this job, you do get um, incentives, you get bonuses, you get all the things if you hustle for them. I'm sorry, did she just say incentives? Incentives, incentives, I think is the word that we're looking for. I just want you guys to know that this opportunity doesn't just fall into your lap. Um, you just don't find network marketers randomly DMing you or you know how like that just doesn't happen like you just it just doesn't happen um excuse me if i had a dollar for every network marketer that slid into my dms and tried to pitch to me i would be making more money than 99 percent of network marketers it does happen you know what i'm gonna pin a comment down below the top of the comment section go and like that comment if you have ever been sent a hey hun message okay let's prove a point here um this is an investment this is an investment on yourself you make, you can make that money back within a few days, truly. Um, it's all up to you. It's how much you want to learn, how many questions you want to ask, and how hard you want to go. Um, we are having our sale. Like I said, anyone that signs up, you do get $230 worth of free products on top of your package. So if you have been interested and you want to know more, please reach out to me. You need to stop waiting until you're ready because, bitch, let me tell you something, the ready isn't there. It'll never happen. You'll never be ready. When I started this shit, I had no damn money. I had no goddamn... I was not ready. But I'm learning. And guess what? Guess what? I have been nominated in the top enrollments, top VIPs, top personal volume, literally in a couple months. I am doing the shit with two, three jobs, with going to the gym with running other companies. You need to stop waiting for the right time. Bitch, there is no right time. If you're broke, this is the reason to start. If you're stressed at your job, this is the reason to start. If you're overwhelmed with money, this is the reason to start. There are so many damn reasons. Think about them. You don't need to be good. You can't be good at something if you don't practice it. Stop waiting for things to get handed to you. You don't go into your new job and think to yourself, I'm going to be the best in the fucking company, bitch. No, you don't. You practice. You earn your way to the top by practice. So if you have questions, if you're nervous, if you're scared, let me ease your mind. DM me. We can do this together. Did anybody else notice that in the first half of the clip, she's pitching the products and she's calm. And that entire first half, she didn't curse a single time. And look, I have no problem with cursing, okay? Absolutely zero problem with it. But you'll notice that as the clip goes on and as she transitions from talking about the products to talking about the opportunity and how much you need this, then she starts getting angry and cursing and is obviously upset about something that that topic brings up for her. And my assumption of that, my impression of this clip in its entirety is that she can sell the product, that's great, that might be easy, but recruiting people, that's difficult. And it sucks that that's difficult because that's where the money is. And it's frustrating when people don't sign up and it's really annoying when people think they're gonna sign up and they ghost you. And I'm sure that over time, it's just building and building and building because it's like, 
She knows that recruiting is what's going to make her the good money, but that's also the most difficult thing about this business to accomplish. So just kind of my observation there. And she's saying that it's always the perfect time to start, right? And she's saying that if you're broke, that's why you should start. And if you're stressed, that's why you should start. But why would you want to enter into an industry where 99.6% of people lose money. How is that a viable solution to your money problems or to your stress? It's not. And joining an MLM honestly has a pretty high probability of making those things worse. And I know that this 99.6% statistic from the FTC is kind of overused in the anti-MLM community. Okay, lots of people use this as a source, but until everybody knows about it, I'm going to keep saying it. Because let's be honest that if everybody knew that this was how multi-level marketing companies worked, people would not keep joining. If she had instead come on her story and said, hey, I have an opportunity for you. You get to spend $199 on a starter pack and there's a less than 1% chance you're gonna make that money back. Are you in? No, I'm not in, but that's the truth. That is the facts. That is the statistics from the Federal Trade Commission. But of course, if people in MLMs were forthcoming with that information, their businesses would drown. So that's why I make it my job to scream it from the rooftops instead. Okay, this next one is a reel. I wish so badly that I could play the audio for you because it really adds that extra dramatic effect. But the song is from the Titanic movie and it's called Hymn to the Sea if you wanna look it up to really get the full effect of it. So I'm just gonna play it and narrate as we go. This says, when you think your toddler escaped the room without his diaper on and you know, peed a little, it's not evaporating, it's not absorbing. And then you see the rejuvenique oil. You don't let this liquid gold go to waste. She's literally on her hands and knees scraping off the floor. Yep, you get on the floor and get after it. Oh my gosh. I can't be the only one out there to go after $100 on the floor. <laughs> you might be. <laughs> Literally taking a bath. This oil isn't just your regular oil. Oh my gosh. Rejuvenique absorbs into the deepest layers of your hair, scalp, and skin. This is fun. <laughs> By the way, I wouldn't be on the floor for any other oil. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this might be the strangest thing I have ever watched. That is some weird behavior. And I would love to know the thought process here. Okay, I wish that I could like hear the wheels turning in her head where she goes, oh man, my kid he peed on the floor. Wait a minute, it's rejuvenique oil. Bingo, real idea. I'm gonna get on the floor. I'm gonna scoop it off and I'm gonna rub it on my body. I don't know if I should be amused, concerned, disgusted, all of the above. It is just amazing to witness the lengths that people will go through to sell a product. And it's also sad because that oil is so expensive, literally a hundred dollars. And she probably felt like she had no choice, like scooping it up with a paper towel and throwing it in the garbage literally wasn't an option in her mind. She's like, well, I guess I'm doing this. The rejuvenique oil is one ounce of product for a hundred dollars, which is absolutely painful. And yes, I know if you're a market partner, you get discounts and stuff, but still it's absurd. And I guess the main thing that I'm taking away from this reel is that being in an MLM makes you do some pretty insane stuff on the internet that you wouldn't otherwise do. Seriously, where else would you see this type of behavior? Show me a place where other people in other professions are getting on the floor and rolling in oil. People outside of MLMs do not do this kind of thing. And I would imagine that this is the kind of thing that you look back on after you've gotten out of your MLM. I was so desperate to sell this oil that I scooped it off the floor and I rolled around in it and I filmed myself for Instagram. Yikes. The next video that I have for you, I can't remember what company that this person's a part of, but they're talking about how nine to fives are miserable. Classic. Okay, so let's have a serious conversation. Who on here will be honest and tell me that they like their nine to five or that they like being bossed around by someone or having to be on a maintained schedule that you hate? Yeah, I said you hate, cause I know you ain't like it. No one out there is gonna sit here and lie to me and say, yeah, I totally love my job. You don't. So what are you doing standing there and still doing it? Like you are the only person that can change your life. You are the only one that can say yes and take initiative and run with this. So why haven't you? Why are you still doing the same thing you were doing yesterday and being miserable? I don't get it. Like I, want to give you the opportunity to love your life, make your own schedule, work from home, and be making money. Like, I don't know what you're waiting for. Let me help you.
And the last slide of her story says, fun fact, network marketing produces more millionaires than any other job or career option. That's actually completely false. In my last MLM Top Fails video, a Monate rep was also trying to say that, that like network marketing is the industry that produces the most millionaires. It's literally not. It's finance and investments. That's the industry that produces the most millionaires and network marketing isn't even really at the top of the list. It also offers an equal opportunity for everyone. Don't have a degree? Doesn't matter. Not great with using social media? You can learn. Learn. Don't know a lot of people? Grow your network. Ay, ay, ay. Let me know in the comments if you do in fact love your job. It's the same narrative over and over and over. Nine to fives are miserable. You have to work under somebody. You're just making the CEO rich. You have to clock in and clock out and request time off. And here's what's fascinating. A lot of people point this out in my comments that when people in MLMs talk about the nine to five stereotype, I guess, what they seem to be describing is not really a typical like nine to five corporate job. What they seem to to be describing is like a part-time minimum wage job, which let me be clear is totally fine. If you work a minimum wage part-time job, there's nothing wrong with that, but that's not the same thing as this whole nine to five corporate narrative that they seem to demonize so much. But it feels very clear to me and a lot of you too, apparently, that the people that are in MLMs that hate nine to five so much don't seem to have worked an actual nine to five job with benefits and vacation time and raises. And their idea of what a nine to five job is, is very skewed. Typically people People who pursue professional career paths are pursuing that career because they find it interesting or stimulating or fulfilling in some way. For example, I would never join a career in the healthcare profession because I literally faint getting my blood drawn and I do not have the passion or the stomach for healthcare. So much respect to nurses, to doctors, to surgeons, to anybody in the healthcare profession. Quite literally, I respect those people more than anybody else in any other career field. But getting up to go to work as a nurse every day sounds absolutely horrendous to me. The same way that people might look at my career path in elementary education and they're like, that looks like my sleep paralysis nightmare. There's not a chance I am doing that. But the point is a lot of people love their jobs and a lot of people get compensated very well for doing the jobs they love. I'm just really sick of this narrative that keeps getting pushed that if you work a normal job, then you must hate your life and you must be miserable. And that network marketing is the one and only answer. You just love to be the center of attention, don't ya? This next clip that I'm gonna show you, this is a Monate rep shilling products the day after she gets home from the hospital, the day after she gives birth. So we are getting back into our morning routine. It's our first full day at home. We were um, let go from the hospital yesterday at around, I don't know, 10.30, 11, maybe 12. I don't know, I wasn't really, when I'm in the hospital, I don't really have a really great concept of time and then the weather changed while we were in there. So it was like, it felt like 5 p.m. all day. But anyway, so I am making my total greens right now. I just drank my collagen and yeah, I made a little slushy. I'm gonna take my probiotic, which I should have already taken, but you know, I'm gonna give myself grace today. I have been like staring at a sleeping newborn. So, <laughs> and, um, yeah, really just enjoying the boys, taking him in. It's been fun. Anyways. And another note, Monet had that sale this weekend. I didn't talk very much about the sale. I think I posted about it maybe one time before. Like, it was part of the sale for $10. They released some of the CBD line, which was such good timing. And the last time they released, it was really good timing for me too. Cause it was like when I hit halfway being pregnant and I started getting aches and pains. And so I started using that lotion and it helped me so much. And it kept my skin so like, soft and hydrated my entire pregnancy so i'm almost out of the lotion and i was really glad to see that it was available and i'm postpartum so i got in there last night and i ordered some and i'm so sorry if you missed that sale because i was not very present on social media obviously this weekend um but i'm gonna put a little box here if cbd line is something that you're interested in and you don't want to miss it next time i don't want you to miss it next time so drop your email or contact information here. This makes my heart ache, truly. 
the fact that these women feel like they have to get on social media and promote a product and promote a sale the first day at home with their newborn is really heartbreaking to me. It's different if you're feeling overwhelmed, if you're not really feeling like yourself and you need to just go on social media for a minute to escape. But this poor woman, she looks exhausted and rightfully so. I want her to use this time to go take a shower, to sit down and eat something, to take a nap with her newborn, to veg out on the couch and watch movies all day. Literally, I want her to be able to feel like she can do anything else other than propping her phone up, putting on a filter and drinking supplements on camera. Like that's really, really upsetting. And again, if doing this is something that she enjoys and it's something that makes her feel more like herself in this crazy time of transition, then that's great, that's fine, more power to her. But it's not sending a great message to other moms and it's not really the flex that she thinks it is. I'm exactly 0% envious of the fact that she's back to work one to two days postpartum, no thank you. I don't have kids yet, but I know myself well enough to know that I will absolutely not be lifting a single finger for my job on my maternity leave. You can find me in bed, you can find me recovering, you can find me soaking up every minute with that newborn baby. And I will not feel obligated to work and I will not feel guilty about that. All right, this next reel is to the song Candy Shop. It says, did you really replace your corporate income with your online business? And the song goes, yeah. Then it says, can you really build a six figure income sitting next to your kids? And it goes, uh-huh. And the caption says, if you knew you wouldn't fail, would you say yes? Fear of the unknown is scary, but you know what's worse? Waking up a year from now and living the exact same life. Most people live their lives on autopilot, going through the motions of life, doing the same things over and over again, but somehow expecting a different result. If nothing changes, nothing changes. One of the biggest lessons I've learned is that you can live out your dreams, but you've got to give yourself permission to try. And most importantly, believe you are worthy of more. That's it. That's the secret. Okay, first of all, this caption looks like she searched motivational quotes on Pinterest and then slapped all of them together. But let's look at this first line. If you knew you wouldn't fail, would you say yes? Okay, but the real is perpetuating the idea Idea that you can build a six-figure income from home while sitting next to your kids, but they're not mentioning that they're in the top 0.01% of the entire company. So I would say there actually is a pretty good chance that you would fail. If you are seeing this and you're joining under the impression that you are gonna make six figures from home, yeah, you're gonna fail at that. Also, this is an income claim. They cannot say that they make six figures. They cannot say that this replaced their corporate income. But honestly, do MLM reps even care about the policies and procedures? No, they're gonna say and do whatever is necessary to keep the cash flow going, even if that means breaking their own company's rules. And another thing, see how this is just snowballing? If they have to adhere to the policies and procedures of the company that they joined, are they really their own boss? Are they really running their own business? Are they really the CEO? See how that works? But the last thing that I wanted to point out for this clip is that it says building a six-figure income sitting next to your kids. And something about the way that that's worded really doesn't sit right with me. Of course, we hear it all the time that this is the perfect job to do at home and you can be a state at home, mom with your kids and spend more time with your family. But the way it says sitting next to your kids gives me this mental image of them literally sitting next to their child with their faces in their phones. And I say it all the time that I never want to mom shame, but I'm of the belief that children deserve a present and attentive parents. And when you're constantly staring at screens, you're on team calls, you're sending messages on Instagram, you're creating reels. All this is doing is sending your child the message that your technology is more important than them. And that's just the God honest truth, okay? Young children don't have the capacity to understand that mom is working right now. What she's doing on her phone is providing for us financially and we have all these financial responsibilities and she needs to be doing this if we're gonna live the life that we do. They don't get any of that. All they understand from their perspective is mommy's at home with me, but she's on her phone all the time. She must care about whatever's on her phone more than me, which obviously is not the case, but that's how kids see it. So this reel is sending the message that you can make six figures while being home with your kids, which first of all is a lie. But second of all, that might not be what's best for every family's circumstance. And I don't love that this is constantly pushed by MLM reps to be the more superior, the more desirable way to be a mother. You can still be a fantastic mom and not work at home. And that, my friends, is all that I have for you for this MLM Top Fails video. Of course, before we go, I have a comment shout out. This one says, I love when they say, I didn't want to trade my time for money. That's obvious, or you wouldn't be in an MLM where 99.9% .9 of people trade their time for no money. <laughs> Incredible. Love it. You guys comment the best stuff, and it's always the most ironic stuff because I feel like a lot of times MLM reps are trying to make this one point but in trying to make that point they're digging themselves into like this contradictory hole so I always love when you guys catch on to that stuff and you point it out in the comments it's the best and with that thank you so much for watching I really appreciate you and I will see you in my next one real soon